Hello and welcome. Uh, I'm back down here at the coast today because we're looking at some insane membranes. Okay, okay. these are not volcanic volcanic intrusion. I'm gonna explain to you why in just a minute. Okay, this, this is this is a membrane here, and this is flesh that it's in. Okay, this this, this, is, this is flesh. It's transitioned to what you're seeing here now. This is another membrane here. I brought these before, but I've got some new information now. Okay, here's more over here. Another one here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you the geological theory and I'm gonna tell you exactly what's going on, okay? For one thing, I'll show you right now, the stuff that it's in beside it here is sandstone. That's sandstone, okay? So, I'm gonna give you the geo, here, look at the big one here. So this is flesh I'm walking on. This, the, they would call these, of, I'll give you the geological theory for these volcanic intrusions, okay? What they say these are caused from, this geological layer in time, this would have, according to them, this would have been a intrusive, igneous intrusive basalt. And these would have been volcanic intrusions coming up through this basalt. Okay, basalt, igneous intrusive basalt is stuff like diorite or granite. That's an igneous intrusive basalt. This is sandstone. Okay, sandstone, according to them, is sedimentary. Okay, it's not igneous intrusive. So they're 100% wrong. This is all sandstone. It's not diorite or granite or anything like that. They're 100% wrong on their theory, okay? They say that these are caused from igneous intrusive basalt coming up through fissures in this stuff. In other words, there'll be cracks or lines in this stuff and this stuff would ooze up through it from the bottom up, okay? That's, that's, that, that's a lie. It's not true. This is sandstone. So how did the cracks get perfect in the sandstone to cut this stuff to come up through it? And then the extreme pressure and heat crystallizes this like they say it hardens, but doesn't this. All the extreme heat and pressure didn't do nothing to the sandstone. I'll show you so Okay, okay. <laughs> If it was granite and diorite filled in around it, then where did it all go? These are like little walls right here. Where, where's, where's all the granite and diorite? All there is is sandstone. The granite and diorite didn't disappear. It's harder than the sandstone. It, it, it wouldn't be, it would not erode and turn into, uh, transition into sandstone. Granite and diorite cannot do that, you understand? Granite and diorite cannot transition into sandstone. Impossible. See how these are like a wall? I'll show you a better one over here. Let me show you this. Before I get going too far, I want to show you these four ways. How would it, for one thing, how would these seams get in the sandstone to form these perfect lines and stuff? And how would you get a four way with the stuff oozing up from the bottom? You could do it from the stuff coming from the top down, but never from the bottom up because the first layer would harden, the next layer would never be a gut through it. And if both layers were soft, they'd blend together and not be a crossover like this. Make sense? Impossibility with their theory. This is impossible with their theory. Total impossible. Let me show you another one. Whoa, that looks deep. Hold on a minute. Here's another one of those four ways overlapping. Tell me how that can happen from the bottom up. It would never be, you could maybe happen from the top down and one hard and another one over top of it, not from the bottom up. You understand what I'm saying? That's impossible. So is this one over here. Not only that, but this should not be sandstone. According to their theory, and this can't happen. This cannot happen with their theory. You understand me? This is impossible with their theory, not from the bottom up. Now you see how it's a wall, like that piece over there? Explain this if that stuff come up through an igneous intrusive basalt, which would be diorite or granite or stuff like that Where's the diorite or granite? All there is is sandstone <laughs> That's sandstone. That's sandstone. There's no way the sandstone is gonna be here But the diorite and granite would erode away you kidding me the diorite and granite would be as hard as that stuff And it'd still be here It'd still be here. It wouldn't be sandstone this is connective tissue. This is 100% biology, okay? And I'm gonna show you some old red blood sandstone here, 
which is flesh. It, it's uh, FE203. It's oxygenated. The blacker stuff, the FE202, is harder, and it doesn't turn as red. It turns more black because it's missing the one molecule of oxygen, okay? Hold okay, on, I'm man. trying not to get too wound up here. I'm getting all excited because this is connected tissue. This is not igneous intrusive basalt that it's in, okay? And remember, I've showed you each side of these before, how they have the membrane on each side. Identical, identical. These things are always identical, repeated pattern. You'd never have that. And how did the sandstone get so tight against it? How would it come up against the sandstone? How did these fissures even get in the sandstone to make lines like this? You know what I'm saying? How, how, would, how would the fissures even get in sandstone to make this stuff? And how would it, if it was igneous intrusive basalt coming up through this stuff, how, and it was molten, how would it not fracture and blow the crap out of all the sandstone? Think about that. There's no way it'd be this perfect. It's impossible, okay? The, their, their theory is totally wrong on, on, on volcanic intrusions. 100% wrong. It's not embedded what they say it's embedded in. It's all sandstone, which is, in the corner of them, sedimentary. So there's no way it can transition to an igneous intrusive basalt, you understand? And it, I mean, igneous intrusive basalt cannot transition to sandstone. So their theory's wrong. This, this, this is sandstone beside it, okay? It's not igneous intrusive basalt. They're 100% wrong on their theory. And these four ways and stuff, there's no way these would happen from the bottom up. Another one down there. Look how big this one is. Look at the sandstone right up against it. There's no, there was no fissures in the sandstone, and these, the, and magma came up through them because this would be magma. And there's that outside membrane that's always on all of them. There's the other side right there. They're all identical. Look at this four-way here. Another one right here, side by side. A piece of connective tissue running through that. It's like gristle in your meat, okay? That's what this is, like gristle in your meat. Now I'm gonna show you some old red sandstone that's bloody, and I'll show you hopefully some Fe202, which would be vein blood that's not oxygenated, that's really hard and transition different. One of the best ones is over here. This stuff's really slick. two massive ones here but this is all sandstone it's not granite or it's no it's not igneous intrusive basalt absolutely not this one here is a huge membrane right here and it's got some bloody fe202 flesh here old red sandstone see this that's what this is, and I'll go show you some more in a minute. But this is sandstone. See that? Old bloody sandstone. See that old red sandstone, see that? That's Fe203, oxygenated. Okay, and you know it's just not granite. It's not diorite. It's not igneous intrusive basalt. This is old red sandstone. That's, that's a red, that is blood, man. Look at that. That's what that is. This is a membrane. Like epimecium, paramecium, endomecium. Now I'm gonna step over and show you some more. Ugh, don't slip and bust my hiney. step down in here too and I'll show you how, like, how tall this one is I mean look at this so where's all the granite 
diorite. Any igneous intrusive basalt that's supposed to be here that it popped up through. It's not. It's sandstone. This is sandstone. <laughs> yep, that's all sandstone. So the diorite or granite didn't erode away and sandstone's here. <laughs> Look how tall these are, see? Otherwise, okay, the, say there's no sandstone or dire. Where would all these walls of this stuff come from? They're like a wall. W where would it come from? Where's the material that's supposed to be igneous intrusive basalt that popped up through? These fissures in the igneous intrusive basalt, they say. See what I'm saying? They're wrong. I'm proving it right here. All right. That is blood. That's what I was talking about. This is why. This is how I find the vein blood, like this. Harder, not transitioned like the sandstone. Porous like this, it looks like kind of like lava. This is the Fe202 blood that I find. Okay, it looks like this stuff. Always has the real porous like this, real black. It's always the same. I've, sh I've shown it before, and this is what it looks like. It doesn't look like the sandstone. It looks like this stuff inside. Totally different than what I just showed you with the sandstone. Okay? It's totally different looking than the sandstone. This is the Fe202 vein blood. It's blood spray is what it is. From like hemorrhaging. That's what this is. That's why it's so black. That's why the old red sandstone is red right over there. I showed you. That's that's where it's at. The red over there. And this is blacker. See? Because there's hemorrhage blood all over the place. I know. Turn to rock. 